Marshall back to the White House Thank you so much, Mr. and the Oval Office. And uh, it's great to be at your side once again. We're going to stay at your side. You know, we stand at a real inflection point in history. I know you and I have talked about this, where the decisions we make now are going to determine the future for decades to come, particularly in Europe. And this is one of those moments. Congress needs to pass a supplemental funding for Ukraine before they break uh, for the holiday recess, before they give Putin the greatest Christmas gift they could possibly give him. And uh, so because we've seen what happens when dictators don't pay the price for the damage and the death and the destruction they cause, and they keep going when no price is paid. The threats to America, to Europe, and the world will only keep rising if we don't act. And I intend that we act. The American people, Democrats and Republicans uh, alike, I think, understand this, and they understand the very real fight that's going on right now. In the winter, this winter, Putin plans once again to bombard Ukraine's electric grid, intends to, with rockets, and plunging families in the darkness in the coldest part of the year and doing great damage. We can't and won't let him succeed. We mustn't let him succeed in that. Mr. President, I called on Congress to do the right thing, to stand with Ukraine and to stand up for freedom. And I want to thank you for being here. You're going to help the cause. And I don't want you giving up hope. Thanks so much, Mr. President. Dear journalists, um, I'm really glad to be here at the White House today and share some very important messages. Thank you for the invitation, and I'd like to thank America and our partners for the support. And today, the special day, really a special day for Ukraine, Ukrainian people. It's a day of our land forces, almost 600,000. Incredibly brave Ukrainian sons and daughters are on the battlefield, and they were powerful. <laughs> This is their day, and, and really, they prove every day that Ukraine can win. And our forces are advancing, and we have successfully defeated Russia in the Black Sea, and Russia is hiding the remnants of its naval fleet in remote base. And I want to talk about some details regarding our reforms and EU integration. Ukraine continues to reform its institutions even during the war. It's very important for us, and we are successful. I think that's very important. And people need to be confident that freedom is secure and strong enough to win. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. Before the press, before, before the press, whoa, 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 hush up a second, okay? Got okay, one more thing to say. I just signed another $200 million drawdown for the Department of Defense for Ukraine, and that'll be coming quickly. Thank you. Thank you very much.